FedEx's remarkable ability to transport packages to almost every corner of the globe in a matter of days is a testament to its founder, Fred Smith's fearless spirit and innovative mindset. His audacity and determination have left an indelible imprint on the courier industry, inspiring countless others to follow in his footsteps. FedEx's founder, Frederick Wallace Smith, revolutionized the courier industry with his business perception and bold vision. Today, FedEx is one of the world's largest employers. With over 600,000 employees and an impressive track record of overcoming challenges with grit and determination, delivering over 18 million packages per day, FedEx is a global shipping giant known for its fast and efficient services. Today, FedEx is one of the most powerful companies in the world, generating over $84 billion in revenue annually and delivering millions of packages to customers around the globe. Fred Smith was influenced greatly by his father's entrepreneurial spirit and success in starting his own trucking company. Smith was inspired to pursue a similar path as a child. By his father's tireless work ethic, this drive and determination stayed with Smith throughout his life, inspiring him to start his own shipping company. Out of a desire to excel and make his father proud, he received an inheritance of $4 million from his father and helped him start the company. Did you know that despite his eventual success, Fred Smith faced significant hurdles during the early stages of building his company? It's a fascinating story about the risks he took to turn his business into one of the most profitable companies in the world. And it's something that many business people and CEOs still talk about today when discussing the keys to success. As the company faced financial ruin in its early days, Smith made the brave decision to try his luck in the high-stakes world of gambling. It's hard to imagine, but the beginnings of the FedEx empire we know today can be traced back to none other than Sin City itself, Las Vegas. FedEx faced numerous challenges during its early years. The company struggled financially and lost millions of dollars, forcing Smith's family to invest their own money to keep it afloat. Overnight delivery was also a new concept that many people were skeptical of, and FedEx had to demonstrate that it could deliver packages overnight while assuring their safe arrival. FedEx used innovative delivery methods to overcome these challenges. The company implemented a centralized hub and spoke system, which allowed packages to be sorted and routed through a central location before being flown to their final destination. This system increased delivery efficiency while decreasing the likelihood of package loss or damage. FedEx also invested in advanced technologies such as barcoding and tracking systems to improve its delivery process even further. However, the competition was fierce, with well-established delivery services such as UPS and the United States Postal Service already in place. Nonetheless, FedEx remained dedicated to customer satisfaction, determined to make a name for itself in the shipping industry. FedEx faced a major challenge as it expanded, how to keep its planes fueled. Due to the high cost of jet fuel, the company was having difficulty paying its bills. This was a critical issue because without fuel, the planes couldn't fly and the company would be grounded. Smith, the CEO, tried everything, but he couldn't get a business loan to keep the company afloat. With no other option, he took the risky decision to travel to Las Vegas with the company's final $5,000. His bet paid off when he won $27,000, which was just enough to keep the company in the game. It was a risky move, but it saved the company from failure. Smith's daring decision-making and willingness to take risks set him apart, and it was this type of thing that ultimately led to FedEx's incredible success. FedEx's financial situation improved significantly following Smith's win in Las Vegas, providing the company with a much-needed boost. Although the funds were insufficient to pay off all their debts, they were encouraged to keep innovating and growing. To keep up with demand, they invested in a new fleet of planes and expanded their delivery services. They also created new technologies to improve their delivery process, such as handheld scanners for tracking packages. FedEx experienced rapid growth in the 1980s, surpassing $1 billion in revenue by 1983, and in 1978, the company went public, allowing them to expand even further. They have expanded globally over the years by acquiring other delivery companies and opening new facilities in countries all over the world. Smith's reputation as a visionary leader, unafraid to take risks, grew as FedEx expanded. He instilled an innovative culture by constantly pushing the envelope with new ideas and unconventional methods. 
The company was always on the cutting edge, whether it was testing unmanned drones or experimenting with same-day delivery. FedEx made a significant move in 2000 when it merged with Kinko's, adding copy and print services to its already impressive offering. FedEx still dominates the shipping industry today, delivering tens of thousands of packages every day, while focusing on technology, sustainability, and customer satisfaction. FedEx has continued to expand its offerings in global reach since then, as the demand for online shopping has increased. The company has made significant investments in e-commerce and home delivery services in recent years. FedEx acquired TNT Express, a major European delivery company, in 2016 expanding its international footprint even further. To stay ahead of the competition, the company has also been testing new technologies and delivery methods such as autonomous vehicles and robots. Despite challenges such as rising fuel costs and increased competition, FedEx remains a shipping industry leader, delivering millions of packages each day while maintaining a commitment to quality and innovation. FedEx operates in over 220 countries and territories around the world, making it one of the largest and most recognizable brands in the shipping industry. While Smith himself may deny the popular myths surrounding his trip to Las Vegas, there's no denying that the butterfly effect of that high-stakes gamble had a significant impact on the future success of FedEx. Perhaps the exact details have been distorted over time, but the fact remains that Smith took a risky chance with the company's last remaining funds, and it paid off in a big way. The story of the Las Vegas gamble has become a symbol of Smith's determination and resourcefulness in the face of adversity, and it has become an iconic part of FedEx's origin story. FedEx's story demonstrates the power of innovation, determination, and a little bit of luck. Who would have guessed that a single blackjack game in Las Vegas could alter history? But it happened. That one game provided Fred Smith with the financial boost he required to keep his company afloat and it was a chain reaction of growth and expansion from there. It's a testament to the power of perseverance and innovation and a reminder that sometimes the biggest opportunities are hidden in the most unexpected places. Who knows what other small events will set off the next chain reaction of history? It's a reminder that sometimes the greatest opportunities come from taking a chance and that we never know where life will take us.